Hello everyone and welcome to another personal update. My name's Inwills and welcome to the InCrowd. Well, welcome back. I just wanted to have a quick chat with you and make up, um, well, make up? No, to share with you uh, a, no, a new video about personal issues. First thing I have to say is that this is my new mic. Well, it's not actually a new mic. It's an old mic that I found I had and it's a Rode. So I thought it must be good. And it's absolutely massive. If I just like lift it up, Look how huge that is. Anyway, I, I'm trying to get as close to it as I can without actually um, getting it too much in shot. Anyway, um, back to personal update times. And just to let you, just to remind you, should I say, I don't make these videos for sympathy or for attention or anything like that. I just like to share what's going on in my life and maybe actually support others as well. Now, you might be aware that not so long ago, I made a video that looked like this. Hello and welcome. Yes, welcome to this a, a rather strange personal blog. I want to take you on a bit of a journey that will probably explain how I'm speaking. I can't actually do the next bit, but hello, my name's Inwells, and welcome to the InCrowd. Yes, so that was me when I had um, facial paralysis, and initially they thought it was Bell's palsy, but then it spread across the rest of my face. And yeah, luckily, that went and that stopped, as you can probably tell now. And I carried on life um, as usual. And then after um, a run one day, I found that my muscles were twitching in my calf. And even it, they were doing this even when I wasn't running or after, you know, just getting up in the morning. And so I touched base with the doctor and yeah this is what my calves look like So the doctor said that there's actually a really posh name for it called muscle fasciculation and got me to go straight back to my neurologist who had diagnosed the facial paralysis in the first time. And I went down and I braved the hospital during a pandemic, um, which was quite, it was successful, but yeah, it really did push my anxiety levels to the limit. But anyway, I managed and met a fantastic doctor, the same doctor as before. And I have to say throughout this that the NHS has been absolutely fantastic. I, I cannot fault them at all and the doctor that I saw was quite cheerful and even though he was squeezing me in between you know in probably his rest time or his lunch time or something anyway it was it was an interesting diagnosis or an interesting series of um, tests that he did and he checked my automatic reflexes now as you might be aware you know some if you hit just below your kneecap with a hammer, Don't, not a real hammer, I'm talking about a medical hammer, then your, your knee jerks, you know, you might be aware of this. Anyway, um, he couldn't get any of mine to work across my body. Apparently you have several. And even during, um, I had to, he had me to put them under duress. So when he was doing my arms, I had to grip my teeth. And when he was doing my legs, I had to put my hands like this and pull. And he would say, three, two, 
one and I would have to pull and he would whack my knee and nothing would happen. Anyway, um, it came to um, bear at the end of it that he diagnosed me with something called Guillain-Barre syndrome. And I'll put a link in the show notes or the, sorry, underneath the um, video so you can go and have a look at it. Now, first things that I have to say is that I, I think I'm lucky in the sense that I have quite a, a minor version of this. Um, and the doctor, um, the neurologist expects me to make a, a complete recovery, although this can take up to nine to 12 months. Well, what they say is that within nine to 12 months, you will have got back whatever you, you um, had lost or, you know, that's what you're going to live with, which is fine. You know, I, I have facial neuralgia, as you want know, and I sort of like cope with that. So this is another thing that I can cope with. Um, not a problem at all. And I consider myself very lucky, actually, because I I know that there are some people who have got it far worse than I have. So how is this affecting my everyday life? Well, I have no um, sort of like feeling in my fingertips at all. So sometimes I, I think that I'm picking something up and I'm not, and I dropped it. Um, I've That's got a lot better. And now I can actually start to lift things up with one hand. I had to sort of like hold it with two. Uh, I, my soles of my feet, I have no um, feeling in at all. Um, but the, the most, the weirdest thing ever are my legs. And my legs, uh, at first, I thought I had muscle wastage because they weren't actually working at all. And it comes in, there's good days and bad days with it. On a good day, I can walk normally. On a bad day, I can still walk, but I tend to sway and st um, stagger a lot. And sometimes I sort of like slip um, because I haven't lifted my leg up high enough and it's sort of like scrapes along the pavement running as you know i'm a runner and i did the couch to 5k um app and i've been running ever since so this is coming up to my first year of running and running for me is as well as i know it keeps me healthy the other thing that is really good for me is my mental health i really i don't like running but i feel good if i've done my run and if I don't do my run, I, I do it three times a week. I get very um, depressed and sad and anxious about things. Anyway, so I, I've got doctor's orders to take it easy. So what I'm doing is still running about 4.8K, but I, I run very slowly. Um, it, there's a, here's a video of my feet going. So, yeah, you can see I'm not the fastest and I tend to, I used to run about 5K, let's say 5K. Well, it's 4.85 kilometers that I run, but let's just say 5K. Um, and I used to do it in about 26 minutes. Now it takes me almost an hour and I used to run in about uh, a kilometer in about a pace of six minutes. Now it's about 10 minutes, but... The important thing is that I can do it. And I know some people with Guillain-Barre syndrome can't even do that. And so I totter along. I'm um, going up and down stairs is difficult. Um, so actually doing things like squats. I'm not doing squats, but bending down and standing up is not the easiest thing. And sometimes um, I was sat on the floor doing something the other day, um, shredding paper. And I suddenly realized I couldn't get up. I had to move, um, to like slide along on my bottom until I got to somewhere that I could actually help myself up. Um, I'm not in any pain, which is good. Uh, and I think that's very positive. And like I said, uh, doc, the neurologists expect me to make a, a complete recovery. And I haven't got it as bad as others. I do have moments that my fingers twitch or 
my um, leg spasms or goes into cramp. And I must admit, I, I feel very tired a lot of the time. And I think that's associated with it. Or I could just be doing too much. Anyway, um, positive moving forward. I'm determined to get back everything. And I'm keeping very positive about things, keeping very, I'm not overdoing it. I'm sort of like just trying to cope with everything. And, you know, there, there has been improvements. I actually have found twice this week that I actually felt my calf muscles twitching when I woke up in the morning, which is really good. I think that's an improvement. And like I say, I managed to run or stagger around and, and, my feelings in my fingertips are still very strange, but, you know, we, we give it time. We give it time and that's it. OK, then. Yeah. And as always, I'm trying to keep really super duper positive about things and trying to just think, OK, then by this time I will get better. And, you know, if I don't, then that's fine. You know, I'll cope with what I've got and be grateful that I've got it. OK, and that's about it for this video. Um, please do not view this video the wrong way. I'm just giving you updates about things, but also hopefully opening your eyes to things like um, Guillain-Barre syndrome, which I never knew even existed before I got it. But also the fact that, you know, some people have it and have it a lot worse than I have. And I'm very grateful that I don't have that. So, yeah. And spreading the word about that um, as well. OK, then. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go off and make a gibbering GM video um, soon. So I'll be back with you um, on YouTube. Don't forget, I'm making a whole load of shorts um, videos at the moment I'm really enjoying doing those and also publish them on Instagram so do go along and follow me on Instagram I'm desperate for the swipe up function um, on my Instagram stories but sadly I need 10,000 followers for that and I think I've got 342 so we might just have to imagine it for the future OK, then. So until next time, look after yourself, please stay healthy, stay safe, but most importantly, stay positive. And I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.